Hello and welcome to Gavin's 2,000 subscriber special. We have a challenge ahead of us here today because we are in the car of tomorrow, which I guess is more like the car of yesterday at this point, but the 2009, I think it is, cup car. Um, they had a lot more power back in this time. I think it's 750 horsepower is what we've got here. And uh, it's... It's been a challenge. It's really not like anything I've ever driven before on this service. Um, I joined in, I think, 2013, but I only ever did street stocks in rookies back, back when I was doing that in high school. And then I briefly returned in 2016. Again, never bought any of the additional stuff, like Arca or trucks or anything, so just did some more street stocks and then for real I started racing for real in 2020 so all this stuff passed me by so I have uh, I did some practice beforehand before even getting into this session to practice some more doing my best to get it figured out but it is tough that is for sure Very unsettled, even on the straightaways. It's pretty crazy. One more lap. Not my best lap here, but I don't know. Maybe we can improve for lap two. Seems like being pretty patient on the throttle is. Worth your time. I'm really just focusing on getting it around the bottom line here. Seems like it can really help with your lap times. Um, I think <laughs> tire wear is so huge. I think, honestly, you just have to do it lap one. So I feel like I hit the marks pretty well there, but first uh, lap was better. So we have ourselves a P2 for now. I imagine we'll probably drop, however. <laughs> but. I'm not feeling too bad. Um, I'm gl really glad I got the practice in that I needed to get. Because it definitely took me... I got I gave myself like an hour beforehand to learn this thing. And I'm glad I did because this thing is wild, man. Um, I really don't want to end up crashing anybody or anything. I want to be able to hold my line. So, and it's uh, it's a tough task in this thing, so... We've got uh, lots of cool people in here, including some <laughs> kicking me out of people. Well, again, big, big thank you to everybody for joining. Super awesome that I can do this race. Uh, it's super, super amazing. I'm really, really grateful. It's amazing. Um, a reminder, though, this race is pretty long. Uh -huh. We're going to have a long, long time before we get to the end of this one, so definitely be patient with it. Try and give everybody some room. These cars are tricky, especially on the straightaways, and definitely try and save some tires. Only two sets in the pits for you. And like my other races, I'm only I'm just going to be doing this like an official race, so I'm going to let iRacing handle all the scoring and issues like that. And I think that is it. Yeah, thanks, Kevin. Thanks, Kevin. Yeah, tire wear is huge. So thank you, Gavin. Man, I appreciate you on this. Love doing these races. <sighs> P three for now. Looks like that might hold thank too. Thank you more specifically for picking this car because it's like Justin. No one, uh, no one runs this. Mike is, purposely so always, starting the back. Always want to run this. What do you do? Now he qualified. Thanks, Gavin. Hopefully, I'll nineteen. Oh my gosh. You. Lots of people saying stuff. I don't want to miss anything. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for showing up. Uh, yeah, these cars. I haven't raced these in probably 10, 11 years. It's been crazy. But hopefully, this, hopefully this is a good one. Oh boy, here we go. I'm starting P3, it looks I'm like. Have, uh, the voice chat muted while I do the intro, and then after we take the green, it'll be back on. We got Nick in here. We got lots of people from the, um, the league races. Familiar names. Gavin's Qualified 11. And good luck, everybody. 
Austin, Jeremy, Kyle's in here. Good luck, everybody. Channel Storm Surge, Justin Schuler. Really enjoy his videos as well, and just tons of people, Thank you man. To the host. So, lots of people that didn't qualify too. Might not be a bad idea. I have a new idea how to approach this. I imagine there's got to be Rex. I'm gonna kind of try to hope to be in front of it. One to go. Next time by. Maybe. Line up on the inside. Pit road is closed right now. We're gonna do session last lap. Um, I have no idea how to get, how to be nice to the tires. I mean, I tried when I was practicing to figure out like being on the right rear or something, but I don't know. I I just. <laughs> Could not figure it out, so I think I'm just gonna have to take it easy, be easy on the throttle. Less is more, it seems like, with this thing, because even a little bit of throttle's got a decent bit of power behind it. And I think uh, just being close to that bottom line really does help. Hmm. I have no idea what this race is going to look like. Not a clue. Yeah. Never raced this car before. I don't know if I've even ever seen a race of this car before. <laughs> it's kind of before my time on iRacing. But I'm excited. I'm nervous and excited at the same time. Don't want to make my make a mess, that's for sure. Daniel said, pro tip. Short shift on the restarts. I noticed that coming out of the pits. Your foot is already sweating. <laughs> uh, Sorry about that, Raymond. Making me laugh. Yeah, no problem. No hurry. You're gonna get going. Yeah, I'm gonna have to be real careful on it. It doesn't even really do much good to yeah, get away or anything if we are getting cautions. I feel like there's no way we go too long. Yeah, is there? They're in behind me as well, so it's not talking though. This thing is just uh, so unstable. I've never done start or restart in this thing, so I'm going to be easing onto the gas pedal. I think we're probably just going to get an immediate crash because someone's going to smash on the throttle and you just can't do that in this car. It doesn't seem like we might get ourselves an immediate caution. No idea though. Lots of mysteries here. What was that? Don't know what that was. Okay, the pace car is in. Go, go, green go. flag, green flag. You're allowed many more RPMs. Ooh, we are easy. Let's start here. Outside. Should be easy on this thing, but the car outside. Outside, clear. <laughs> okay, you are the leader. Well, uh, we're gonna lead, probably because I'm trying too hard. <laughs> My right front is murdered already. I guarantee you. Oh, we got track position. That's a thing. I'm gonna try to be real easy on the throttle. Get on the brakes pretty good, hopefully. Maybe get on the right rear, who knows. Like I said, I have no idea how this car is going to evolve. Did not expect to just hey, Rob, the wall you down. fly up out front. By the way, there was no immediate caution. That's definitely did not happen. So what's happening here is I'm probably burning off my tires. I don't even feel like I'm pushing, but obviously... I'm going way harder than everybody else, and that's not a good thing. I'm trying not to turn my wheel. If I can avoid it, I'm really trying not to turn the steering wheel. Let the throttle and the brakes do it for me, but 
I don't know, man. You've just done a 50.7. Got Challenger behind us. Keep an eye over there. Wow, we're green so far. Fantastic. Goal to lead laps. My first ever time sitting in this Jeremy. car. Okay, I kind of scared myself. Pretty fun running this like little Harvick line down here. It really seems to catch the car. It feels pretty good. I have no idea if I'm doing good or not. I almost got the wall on injury there. That's really not good. Good consistency. Don't get too wild now. I can't believe we're green. Everyone's doing fantastic. This thing is not easy to drive. Go ahead, Nick. I'm not going anywhere. I can't believe how crazy this thing is on the straightaways. I said that in the practice beforehand too. It is unbelievable how crazy this thing is on the straightaways. It's like the little wobble that the uh, current B car has now, the Xfinity car. It's like that little wobble it has on the straightaway times 10. You've just done it's wild, time. man. So we'll see if people start catching up to us or something. I have no idea. How this is gonna go. Trying to make sure I'm not overdriving. Being very gentle on the throttle. But we could easily have people coming up on us for too long. But that's okay. I don't expect much here. I'm just having fun. I definitely don't expect to be doing this right. I know I'm definitely, uh, saying definitely too much, I'm sorry. I'm almost certainly ripping my tires apart, though, with how fast I rocket away from P3 at the start. There's no way I'm not ripping my tires up. I'm trying not to. Uh-oh, we got lap traffic. Someone must have had some trouble. Looks like they're going. Don't see them. Uh, doesn't look like they're stopped or anything. Try and do, uh, when I do get back on the gas, do it late. Late, late, late through the corner. So that way, when I am hitting the accelerator, I'm hopefully doing it off the right rear. Who even knows, though? See the way that kind of nose points toward the inside of the corner whenever I hit the brakes. I like that a lot because that's me not needing to turn the wheel to do that. I'm letting the car do that on its own when I hit the brakes. Like the way it's going right there. Chuck's keeping up with us. Pretty well, though. He might be content riding. Is that a caution? No, he's on the apron, so no caution. Definitely had a moment of panic because I saw smoke and a car sideways, but he was not on the track, so I guess we're good. Keep it green, tower. I'm really getting used to this car though, it feels great, I actually really enjoy it now that I've kind of gotten the idea. 
definitely didn't at first. Gave myself uh, about 45 minutes. Like I said before the actual session opened up, Gavin was nice enough to share the set that Daniel was nice enough to make for us. And uh, that allowed me to get some practice in. Apparently the car will get even more uh, unsettled on the straightaways as the tires heat up. Hey Gavin, I hit the wall for you so you don't have to. <laughs> no, I already did that at like lap two. <laughs> Gavin's uh, required wall hit. Every video he has yeah, to have at least one tap. It doesn't have to be a hit necessarily. It can be just a tiny little tap, but it, it is a requirement by law <laughs> to have a wall tap every race. Gavin is in. Um, kind of scary when you can turn through the dog leg just using the throttle and not the steering wheel. <laughs> yeah, so much right power in this thing. It's crazy. When we get in the Gen 4 cars, high racing, that would be a fun one. I think this is the closest thing we have, like NASCAR wise, to the Gen 4 car, right? Because this was the one I came after. I've got my timeline correct. It's getting tighter. I see smoke! <laughs> this car is really trying to kill me on the straightaways. But we're still green! They got it figured out. I need to figure out how to adjust with this car, though. I'm glad I'm not the only one dancing around on the back stretch. Oh, trust me, we all are. I think I just need to stop having such a heavy foot. I think I'm overdriving yeah, just a Joey, little bit. I need to get that gathered up. Get that figured out or else Chuck's gonna take advantage. Didn't mean that. And I'll hurt my tires, which is also bad. I don't know what my tires are at right now. I remember hearing that 30 lap runs might be about what you might expect. Uh, I'm gonna go long, I think. Just cause if people start green flag pit stopping, I'm not sure if people are gonna be able to hold on to it. I did the same thing, I did a lot go. I also thought they were gonna wreck just on the start, and that certainly didn't happen either, so... Maybe I should have a little more faith... here, in everybody. Just keeping it down on that line. So we got Chuck behind us, but then we got about two seconds back to the next guys. Feels pretty good. Don't know. Again, tires could hit a cliff. I really don't know. I do know I don't want to be hitting the apron like that. That killed our corner. Oh! That is amazing. It's amazing how crazy unsettled this thing gets on the straightaways. Never had a car on iRacing be this unsettled on the straightaways. I've seen like Nick do races in the sprint car. And that thing looks pretty wild on the straightaways. You can't, you wouldn't dare go full throttle in that thing for most of the, most of the time. And you can full throttle this thing, but it's certainly trying not to let you. I'm wondering if Chuck behind us has better tires and he's just racing to my pace right now and is going to be ready to overtake me at any moment. Not sure what he has for me back there. The lap time was at 31.9. Hold on there, Scott. 
Don't do what I did. Trying to be smooth. Trying to be smooth in a very jagged car. That's how I'd probably put it. We got people pitting? Those legitimate pit stops are like damage pit stops. It's probably way too early for them. Legitimate pit stops, right? God. Steer this thing down the straightaway. Overdrew it a bit there. We'll have to pull it back. All right, quit it. Quit pulling to the left. You're trying to kill me. Man, Chuck is not letting me rest, though. It says no rest for you, not one single moment. And honestly, I probably need it because I feel like if I lose focus, even for a second, I'll probably put this thing in the wall or something. To be completely honest with you. It is a full-time job steering this thing around here. Okay, Colton, that's good consistency. My hands burn, gripping the steering wheel tight. It's like a short track, where you really gotta manhandle the thing. I feel like uh, Chuck's just racing to my pace right now, and he's gonna overtake me easily at some point. Like right now, when I overdrive the corner. This thing is getting harder and harder to control, too. Well, I'm trying not to block you down the back stretch. The car's just going where I want to go. Loose. God, this thing is hard to control. This is unbelievable. I hope they didn't uh, feel like I was too aggressive on the start there. Like, I did not even... I was not even trying to get past them. I had no intentions of, you know, like, making a plan where, like, oh, I'm gonna overtake them early and get track with them. Like, I was just doing my start. Unbelievable. It's getting worse, for sure. I went with 12 to 1 steering ratio. Help try to wrangle in this the craziness so I can respond to all the weird dips and dives that the car is trying to do at any given moment. It's just these like bumps too. I think the track's bumpy and that makes the car want to weave and wobble. I feel like I have to lift off on the straightaways now. Unless they want to wreck. I feel like that's not a good way to be fast though, letting go on the straightaways. Go ahead and go inside, Edward. Uh-oh, lap traffic? Is that what I'm seeing up here? I was gonna say, I'm a couple um, laps down. even I'm though lifting off on the straightaway is probably not a very w uh, good way to be fast, wrecking is probably not a very good way to be fast either. Alright, there's our first yellow flag. Guys, that's amazing. Oh, I was I was coming for the lead. Damn it. See no. Sorry for ruining it. It was just I, I don't know, I was off the gas and it was just it was just jumping on the back there. So at five, I don't think I touched it at all. I got all the things I could. Single file behind the pace car. The pace car is out. Pits are closed. Oh no, I'm pretty sure that was on me. Left up 30. Car by. You had the position when the yellow flag came out. Catch up 14. Car. All right, so we will come in and get some tires. 13. Gallo 
Yeah, no, that's gonna be tough on tires. I really don't know if that's gonna be possible. <laughs> Pace car. Pace car going out of three. Pit road's I open. I think you might be able to make it on fuel. You might be like road three road. laps short. So a tire's right. definitely not. Well, Gavin, thanks for the host, but I got like 13 minutes of, of damage. So, um, <laughs> I'm out. Oh, rough one for Jeremy. That yeah, stinks. That sucks. But thanks for joining, though. I'm really glad everyone was able to hold on to it up until that point. I really suspected we'd get a lot of caution, so that was really good. Mid lane speed limit is 50 miles per hour. Yeah, it was, it was a blast. Sorry for being the first one. It just, I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> Five. Three. Nah, you're good, man. Two. Thanks for joining. One. Right here. I can't believe we stopped in the stall. I thought for sure I overshot it. 4973. Yeah, I did not see a 30 lap run to start that off. Yeah, me either. Go, go, go! You only have one tire death remaining. They want you in single 49, tire. 48, 54. Can I do this while driving? Let's find out. I killed my tires, of course I did. Fifty-two and eighty-one. My reaction was forty-one. If that caution wouldn't have come out, I would have been one soon. I'm embarrassed to say. Alright, so thirty-one I guess missed the pits first time around. Catch down three. Leader is pitting now. We got someone taking the wave round, I suppose. So it's looking like I pushed harder and kind of burned the tire off, but she lost speed and penalties. I don't know. I guess it would have come back to bite me had this had that that gone much, gone much longer, but hmm. No, I hit the red zone. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> I didn't remember that being a thing. I, I don't. Ninety-three, eighty-four on my left sides too. That's kind of crazy. Full course yellow. Pits are open. So now we get to control the restart. Three will take the wave around here. One left to green. Line up on the okay, inside. Get ready. Race will resume at the end of this lap. Hmm. Gonna need to make sure not to loop it. Oh <laughs> no, we get started here. Also seemed like that earlier run. It seemed like nobody could really break away from each other. So I've seen a lot of back racing up there. Yeah, it'd be really interesting to see what's going on back there. Can't wait to watch Nick and Gavin and everyone else's perspectives too. Everyone staying way far behind. It's kind of weird. Is it just me? Maybe the mirror is tricking me, but it looks like everyone's really far behind. About to go green. Stay focused. Now they're kind of closing up. The pace car is in. Green, green, green. green.
All right. Really weird doing the starts here. Don't really want to lose track position, but we have so much longer to go. Probably shouldn't worry about it. Two point six gallons. We might need to save that. That's actually pretty interesting. Hmm. Make sure I'm not getting on the gas too hard. Make sure I'm hitting my line. Probably overdriving it again, but I mean it kind of worked the last time, so whatever. I'll rip the tires off like I always do. And I'll just laugh as people pass me. It's a familiar story. If it happens again, it happens again. I'm having fun. I know driving side by side with people is not going to help my tires, so at least I can avoid that if I can stay up here. let the brakes turn for me like I did in the first run just trying to hit consistent laps if I can get close to even on my last lap then I can feel pretty good probably want to avoid even hitting any green don't necessarily even want green because all that means is I uh, I'm pushing harder I probably shouldn't be doing that. We got 79 coming up. Looks like he might be pushing a little bit. Okay, Colton. Cup time's pretty consistent. Hmm. I'm not going to let them intimidate me or anything. I'm going to try to stay focused on my rhythm, hit the marks I want to hit. That one was at 31.0. Uh, it'll work out okay for me. This is going so much better than I expected it to. Say that. But I feel like I'm definitely going to fall off this run. I just... My assumption is always that people are always saving tires so much better than I am at all times. And it's usually a pretty good assumption. I'm trying to be patient on the throttle. I'm not getting on it too early. Mm. Overdrove it a little bit there, maybe. Pretty good though. Getting that run off. That's probably because I'm pushing too hard. Feels really good getting it right on that white line, kind of mid late corner. Because it really feels like it grips up there. It's almost like there's like a tiny bit more baking down there. I know that's almost definitely not true. 
I don't know, I don't know the banking of Texas, old Texas. But I'm guessing it's probably not like. Uh, that wouldn't even make sense, so I don't that. Listen, I'm racing right now, my brain's not working too much. But. It almost just feels like there's more banking down there, even though that doesn't make sense. Maybe just, uh, that's where everyone's running, so maybe there's some extra grip down there or something. I don't know. I don't know how it works. I want to look like a race car driver to you. Halfway! We'll worry about saving fuel later. We've already saved half a gallon, not trying. I'm thinking that just as the pace falls off, we'll be able to save some more. <sighs> so fun to drive though. I was pretty unsure at first. Because I was like, man, I can't even control this thing. But kind of getting the hang of it now. So fun to drive. Very fun. Mm, I drove it there a little higher up the track than I want to be. Not the feeling I wanted to get there. Got a little bit of distance all of a sudden. Oh, I thought they were really coming up on me. For a while. Whew. Let's be consistent. Be -e consistent. Yeah, I'm my own cheerleader. What of it? That's not sad at all, is it? So, we've got to A, not crash, easier said than done in this car, we've got to B, make it on fuel, Two point two gallons. which is now worse than when I last checked in, we've got to C, not below the tire, which I'm not so sure I'm going to be able to do. And we gotta be consistent. Which last lap wasn't so good. So let's get back to being consistent with them. Pace is falling off a bit. Having to adjust so that way I'm not overdriving. That got kinda tight. I don't not did not like that feeling. I think uh, I'm gonna start falling off now potentially. That was a 31.6. Oh man, this thing feels bad already. I think I'm doing worse this run than I did the first run. Which is unfortunate. Very unfortunate. You hate to see it. Not what you want to see. Oh no, Justin Schuler in the pits. I imagine that's probably not a scheduled stop, is it? Maybe it is. Maybe he's doing some hyper strategy plays. But probably not. Hate to see that. Always rooting for him. Get on the brakes, you doofles. I'm overdriving all of a sudden. Not liking that much red. Tenth off of my previous lap is not where I want to be. <sighs> yeah, I'm not feeling good all of a sudden. Do you believe I am falling off? Sorry if I disappeared on the other side of the Is it not looking good for old Colton? That lap was a 31.9. I think I'm lead footing it. I gotta be more delicate. That might be where my problem is coming from. 
need to be ever more gentle on that throttle. There we go, that was a better off. I just, I had looked at, on the bottom left down there, seeing how much I was getting on the throttle, and I think I was just getting a little bit too throttle happy. Got to just barely get on it, make sure you're sticking the line you want to be sticking. I think I can uh, adjust back and maybe get myself back on track here, but we are going to find out, aren't we? Because we got people catching up. I went and overdrove it for a while and that did some bad things to me. Oh wow, left out again. You gotta take another set here. One lucky man, Colton. <laughs> Nah, I'll calculate it. I knew that caution was coming out. I definitely am just not terrible at saving tires. The crowd was coming. Your cars were getting bigger back there. It's pretty the scary. It's open. Question is, who's pit? <laughs> where's the three car? Yeah, where's the three car? I'm coming as fast as I can. Your speed limit in the pits. Okay, we'll fill you to the end. Speed All right. In. Colvin, did you get that black too? Three, two, one. Get the what now? I got a black flag passing the three car. No, I never got told to by. Clear, punch it. That's it for tires. Make them last the rest of the race. They want you in single file. Catch up, dirty car. I guess we can't clear a blast in the center, and I guess they just screwed up. What was it for? Uh, the three car was, I guess. Okay. Maybe someone wrecked and they told me to let it by and I wasn't really paying attention. And I went in the beds. Full course yellow, pits are open. There was a bunch of laps down and uh, I was going to the pit and then the caution came out. I pulled back out and I tried to get up as fast as I could. Sorry for whoever got involved in that. I guess, it's, I guess it's my fault then, I guess I'll come sort of the black uh, at some point. Yeah, I hate that, sorry. Is it not an EOL? I do not know what that means. He got yeah. the black flag because the three had to go around him. Um, me and Mitch it's almost open. had the black flag, we had to wait for the three. Yeah, Free Jack 2022. Alright, thanks, Gavin. My bad. Uh, I don't I uh, shouldn't pay any more attention now. <laughs> no big, that was a weird situation. One to go. Next Race time by, you'll one. be lining up on the inside.
Yeah, top two of us are on old tires, so don't go crazy, guys. I think Nick might be on two tires as well, so... <laughs> be very careful around everyone up there. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> it did seem like tire work got better on that last run, though. More rubber on the track. I gotta make sure I'm not overdriving this time. I definitely was gonna get caught pretty easily that run. I really lucked out. Gotta remain Daniel, disciplined. I like the Pepsi skin. Well, thank you. It's not mine. Kelly, we're going real well. Thank you. I watch the tires spin here, guys. The pace car is off. Be ready. Green, green flag. Direction. Green flag. The next car's the leader. Pizza. Outside. Clear up top. Car outside. Still there. Hold Did it mean it's going to run that restart right now? The yellow flag is out. They want you in single file. Pit road is closed. This car is out. Catch the pace car. Single file behind car number 75. We're under caution. Pits are closed. Uh oh. <laughs> that uh, that green didn't last very long, did it? Sorry for checking up, sir. So there, 24. I saw him going down. I thought he was going to hit the wall and bounce back on the track. I wonder if that was. Uh, oh, you're good. You're all good. Tires. I didn't want to caution that quick. So Wesley survived. I think the guy who yeah, started pulling. I think like, I net coded you too. I didn't know anything, yeah. but it shows me touch. It's oh yeah, it I seemed like that as well. I didn't think we really got much damage at all, if any. I think Chuck was one of the guys. Your left rear quarters a little pushed in. It was uh, no tires. Yeah, I, think I think he, he got in that. That's too bad. That was a really tough situation. After running these, is there any wonder why the drivers in real life hated these things? I kind of like it, but I'm not going to say that, because I'm biased right now. Yeah, but those two years were best of the COTR, in my opinion. Well, uh, any more caution laps are going to be you helping me in my... Car to compare it to three, like the real bar the Let them pass on the outside. And me and my terrible tire saving, so. Lucky dog coming high. I'm gonna drink a water. My voice, oh, my I throat is sore. I early 2000 cup cars at some point to this. Oh, my Lucky shoulder's three. killing me. My shoulder's been hurting me lately. I had two very hard days of work yesterday and today. My shoulder's been like feeling it's on like it's on fire and me gripping the wheel and turning is not helping. I'm playing injured. <laughs> so thankfully we we're able to get around. Slower tires there. Um, I didn't just drive through them. I think I did an okay job. I was pretty aggressive with it, but kind of needed to or else I was going to get taken advantage of there. Um, I was patient mid corner and waited Repeat until he got up off, off the it's bottom. Closed. Well, I'm by. Hopefully, this thing doesn't turn into uh, more of a caution fest. We've been racing so well so far. Very interesting to hear that Nick took two tires. I I, I, want, I really I want to see how that turns out. The way these cautions been going. I can hear him now saying like, well, we're going to try something because we're not going to have a chance doing the same thing as everybody else. It's probably something along the lines of what he's saying.
Stinks that Justin's in the pits. Wonder what happened to him. Maybe just might have gotten in the wall. So easy to do. Might uh, damage the car up. No idea. Maybe he had a, an accident that just didn't bring out a caution. I have no idea. I'll have to watch his video to find to out. So many videos to watch after this one. This lap. Hopefully my video is recording. Sometimes my microphone scares me. It doesn't want to record properly, so <laughs> I can only hope that uh, things are working out all right I'll there. I'll try not to spin the tires on this restart. Got some tires spinning, it sounds That's like. That's one thing I forgot to mention in the, at the start of this race. It can be pretty tricky in second gear, gassing it up. <laughs> I did that last restart, 09, and almost spun into it. Wesley's still on old tires back there, and now he's kind of in the middle. That's an even more dangerous spot, potentially. So you got people in front of him. Well, I guess we did it together, because I did too. Oh, my shoulder hurts. Let's get this thing over with. It burns. About to go green. Stay focused. Feels like someone lit a match, like, on my shoulder blade. Post car is off, time to do your job. Green, green, green. You're in third. Spun my tires, that was not a good start. Do not want him to get down there. Driving in hard, do not want him to get the spot. Thank you, Chuck. I want to keep my track position. No problem, brother. I just want to finish. <laughs> yeah, me. Yeah, me too. Defend when you need to, but ease on the tires when I don't need to. Manage the lead. That last lap was a 30.3. The guy behind has just done a 30.5. Great. This is our last set of tires, don't forget, so I do have to be nice to these things. This could get really interesting. You're in the lead. Just keeping an eye on my mirror back there. He's got a bit of a run. I just I don't want to lose the track position because I don't want to have to try to get around him again. Or you know, for the first Please, time. Tony, I'm gonna chase you down there. Ooh. This is not gonna be easy. We need to go. Nick is holding on brilliantly on those two tires. Assuming he really did take two tires. I think that might have been just an assumption by Gavin based on how well his pit stop went. Maybe he just had a really good pit stop, who knows, but... Oh, I overdrove that. I'm not a fan of that. Can't do that too much. That lap time was 30.8. Got a good run there. Oh, 
Yeah, I don't like it. He looks like he's trying to set up a pass. The lap time was at and to that I say nay. Shall not be allowed. I see you, 28. Take it in the rear up. It's pushing. Inside. Stay high to the car on the low side. Clear. <laughs> Only the track crossover, but he was there. This isn't over. I don't feel like he passed me because tires were better. He just uh, got it done on me. So we'll hang out. The next car's the lead up. Didn't want to give that up for sure. Hmm. Oh, Gavin's back there in fifth. Hmm. You missed the bottom there, maybe. on exit. I think I'm doing that thing again where I'm on the gas a little bit too hard mid corner. It'd be easier on it. Ooh, he goes pretty wide on the quad over there. Lap traffic coming up, that could play a factor. Oh, they're never mind. <laughs> they are going down below. Oh, I always knew my tires were going to be the death of me, but I didn't want it to be like this. I don't feel like they're dead yet. I feel like. Oh, that one's probably just saved better than me. It feels like I still have grip, I just don't think I have as much grip as he does. Put the black flag back on him. Falling back to where I, de I deserve to be, I think, by the end of this one. I only was able to stay up front so long because of very lucky uh, Great job. cautions. Maybe he'll uh, fall off or something and we'll have a chance, but I mean, he hasn't pulled away necessarily too much. He's still there. 
Ah, he's bullied. <laughs> Point seven. I don't. I don't know if he's uh, gonna come back to us, but I'm gonna try to stay steady, just in case. Never know. Maybe he'll get into the wall or something. Oh, whoa, he's getting real sideways. I was too, though. <laughs> For that matter. This tire's getting old. We got Ryan coming up all of a sudden. I think he saved tires better than all of us, maybe. He might be rocketing up here. Can't really look too much. I'm too busy weaving uh, down the straightaway. Thanks. Hmm. Still point seven for now. In front, Just but. Yeah, he's, he's on his way. Dang. As usual, my failure to save tires is the death of me. We better hope we can hang on to a, this spot, too. I don't know if we will. You got five laps to go. Inside, clear. Okay. Um, what just happened? Inside. I legitimately don't even know what just happened. Clear inside. I, I, I think he just ran us over? Was that like weird net code? I don't know what that was. P4. I guess he just ran us over, but that was a really weird reaction of the car. Gavin behind us now. I, I don't even know what to say about that. That was just weird. I think he got into the back of us and then like he his car climbed my car. Like some weird Sorry, 14, got loose. <laughs> Example of physics. Yeah, so did I. I was just following you. Only uh yeah, he's not made the car feel very good though. That uh, lost us another spot, so that was interesting. Two left to go. Two to go. Two laps left. Try to hold Gavin off for this last lap. Oh, he too, getting sideways. Everybody. P4, there's the checkered flag. Check Freaking flag, fantastic race, guys. That is awesome. Great, great job. Great job. You did really well. This was so much fun. First time with this car, and first time on this track, and it was a blast. Appreciate you again. Great race, everybody. 
That was an awesome race. Best I've ever been in. Thanks, Gavin. Thanks, for everybody. Uh, even in the back. Thank you, Gordon. I can't believe there wasn't another caution I'm taking a set of tires on with me. <laughs> a good race, a good win. This car is super fun once you get used to it. Things a blast. Lap around, dead air. Thank you for the host, Gavin. I think I was driving this thing like Dover almost. Yeah, big, big thank you to everyone that came. That, was, that turned out way, way better than I even imagined it could. That was awesome. What happened here? Hey, right, congratulations, Jack. Yeah, thank you, Gavin. That was fun, for sure. Dude, this is, this is, this is a great league. Kind of got run over, didn't I? That's on TK as well, Gavin. Yeah, big thank you. Sorry, Lucas, I freaking forgot. No one's going to talk about it, I guess. <laughs> Whatever. But yeah, big, huge thank you to everybody for the 2000 and this race. Just amazing. I, I can't even... I'm speechless. It's crazy. <laughs> awesome. It's great to hear that, Gavin. had a fun time. Yeah, thanks for having me, Gavin. Appreciate it. Da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. A little weird from my POV. Oops. Yeah, no big deal. Obviously, he wasn't trying to do that. It cost me a couple spots, but I think he was probably going to find his way around me anyway. And, uh, I don't know, maybe we could have held on to third, but whatever. <laughs> um, it's a hosted race. I could have upset about it. So, let's see what else happened out here. Did I mute that? I hope I didn't. I'm muting everybody. All right, so lap one. I can't believe how green it went with how hard this is. Everybody did so well. Got some guys just taking it easy. Not a bad plan. The way the cautions fell, fell you kind of needed to take tires because there were just not a bunch of cautions. You just needed to take tires when there were cautions. That was like the way to go, I think. But uh, definitely never bad to have uh, fewer cautions. So I don't know why we're seeing some of this stuff. Oh, is this Gavin's wall tap? Oh, <laughs> on the straightaway too. Get it getting all unsettled. <laughs> there it is. Lap four. That's all right. We we got it in. We are. Uh, this is an official race now. Well, you know, an official hosted race, but you know what I mean. Now I'm going to out a little bit. A little bit of quadruple trouble. Whoa, that actually was a pretty hefty hit. Is that the same? No. I think Ryan had that Pennzoil car too, and I was like, wow, did he move up from all the way back there? And I started in fifth. Gavin moved forward a lot, that's for sure. Bit of side by side here. I think they're gonna make it. Everybody getting their wall hits in. 
middle stint, I was gonna eat you all alive. <laughs> he must have been saving real hard. Would have been interesting to see that play out. <laughs> Pump on the back straight for the yeah. I wasn't entirely sure what they meant, but at first, but the yeah, it's pretty unsettling back there. Yeah, the only reason I was staying up there was because uh, the lucky cautions for me. Looks like fuel 8080. <laughs> Nick, not a fan <laughs> of this turd of a car. <laughs> Oh, what happened here? A mischief or something, it looks like, down on the apron? That's interesting. He's kicked to the left on him. I remember seeing him down there. No high side. Yeah, there really wasn't multiple lanes. Fun to drive, but... Not really, like, uh... There's no real multi-lane racing. Like the power and braking, but straights are so broken. Yeah, I can see that. 30 wall on, 31 into the wall. I said almost said 30 wall into the one. Daniel's got the Pepsi car blinking out. Oh, this is Justin. I think I saw the Burger King <laughs> car and I didn't realize it was him. Got some tight on exit going on. Some peoples. Yeah, that's that. That's that bump on the back straight, isn't it? Causing all the issues. Is this the first caution? Maybe not. Looks like he's going. I don't think that was a caution. I think we're getting close to closer to where it was right about that time. Sounds like they have a, uh, like they were saying, like Daniel was saying, they didn't update the chassis when they updated the tire model, so they're kind of mismatched, and that might uh, be part of the problem, that, what makes it kind of unstable. Oh, that's right, Jeremy said it was, uh, he was the one that had it unsettled. So he looked unsettled there, I think he said he looped it at some point. Justin hitting that back stretch bump. I feel kind of bad. He, uh, I was going to reply to him. He said, nice round I was watching after he called quits, but then by the time I was going to reply to him, he had already left. So I figure he might be watching. So sorry, I wasn't trying to ignore you. So many people getting caught up on the back stretch in that same spot too. Is this like a like a it's like a David Reagan scheme, isn't it? Like that's UPS six. Another wall there. No grip on the high line. Thanks again oh, for the yeah. race. It was really fun. Yeah, thanks for coming. That was awesome. Super cool. Got Leslie back there. I'm pretty sure everyone got the wall in the back stretch. I think I might have early on at some point. I can't remember. I definitely did while I was practicing, that's for sure. 
I was purposely I leaving. Us record if you wanted to. I definitely got a few good shots on going up road later. I laughed pretty hard at a few Gavins. <laughs> I can't wait to watch these ones. Oh yeah, no problem. That was a great race. This, oh yeah, the backstretch might be what yeah, killed Jeremy here. Yeah, I really like that uh, wall hit on yeah. that pull and make sure to get that right in front of you. We saw that one where you... Yeah, that was a great race. Thank you for hosting this. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, thanks for coming. That was freaking awesome. Now I kind of wonder how these cars would do at Stafford. <laughs> Stafford. Oh, God. Putting one of these on a short track, there's no way I'd make it a lap. I think short track would be pretty awesome. Maybe. I'd crash immediately. This car could just get deleted from the game. Nick loves this car. <laughs> I don't know if we're seeing some stuff. I guess it's tires hitting 50% or something. I should be going through faster. I'm sorry. I'm paying attention to like all the conversation going on. Just en enjoying a nice uh, oh, yeah, that chill. Definitely ruins that for you. Post race. Save me. Yep, sounds good. I'll be there. Should be a tough one. I might oh, here's what again. happened to Jeremy. So it's that darn back stretch again. And then, uh, yeah. I'm gonna try to be the first. I'm gonna have first Sunday night off of. Lost it. And unfortunately, someone got collected. who it was who got collected but Jeremy just could not gather it up and then someone came in and found him there it was oh that stinks and the nice looking Thrustmaster car at least that's one of the sponsors on it and then there's another Burger King car in here fittingly from uh, Nick King <laughs> How'd Mitch do? I don't know. Uh-oh. He had trouble, I think. Wasn't, uh, in that wreck, but he had trouble eventually. Yeah, had Kyle finish. Kyle, solid top 10. Alright, gonna what? have to watch his. I mean, I have so many to watch. I hope I even have enough time to watch all the videos, but I certainly want to watch as many as possible. He got himself a solid top 10. Quad oval issues there. Go a little faster. I'm so bad at doing instants. I get distracted so easily. Ooh, Justin. Oh no. He hits the wall and exit, and then it's he's just he can't gather it back up, and then that's a blank flag. Dang, that stinks. That just ruins your race immediately right there. You get that black flag. Man, that stinks. Some hard up here. I got my, uh, I don't know, what would you call that kind of green? It's kind of like a, uh, is that turquoise? I don't know. I like the color. That's why I went with it. It's just some random trading paint scheme. <laughs> just found something. Some wall hits. This is gonna be a back stretch wall hit. Oh yeah, it was. Uh, there's Mitch. He was doing pretty well. Uh oh. Ooh, I thought he was about to get tagged, and we were about to find out what happened to him. But uh, that is not what happened.
Should be coming up on the next caution. Uh oh. That might have been it developing up there. He had like 30, uh, 30 lap runs each, it kind of seems like it turned out. So tires going away for some guys, I mean for everybody they were, but... Trouble gathering it up. Whoa, no, oh there's the caution, whoa, we got a flip! Can like Carl Long at Rockingham. So there was your next caution. Well, that's right, we did have that one immediate caution as well. Oof, what's going on here? Oh, they were just trying to let him by and then a little miscommunication on where to go. Oh no! That stinks. Don't go to the pits. Don't, don't, don't. Oh, that's a black flag. I think it is. I assume it is. Yeah, what happened on this restart? Ooh. A little bit of a rear ending, but they survived. Whoa, what just happened? What happened there? He just turned, I mean... I want to say he just turned left, but with the way this car handles, that probably was just totally unintentional. Unfortunately, that's what caused that. Um, this was that restart where it was guys in older tires. Had to hesitate a little bit, so I didn't pass him there. So he didn't quite get a very good start. And this is when I kind of snuck below him there. Weird. And it was uh, not a terrible idea to save that last set of tires, but it just really didn't work out for uh, anybody there, I don't think. How did Wesley end up doing? He was the other guy, right? Oh no. Yeah, 23rd, so that didn't work out very well for him at all either. I think it's because we went to the end after that, didn't we? Maybe I'm wrong. Some heavy wall hits in this one, though. Some Texas sized wall hits at <laughs> Legacy, Texas. The wall hits are bigger in Texas, I guess. I haven't seen Kyle at all. This is, I guess, his first wall hit, unless I'm forgetting any. Everyone's got to get some. Everyone's got to get a little bit of wall. I think I hit the wall at some point. I don't remember, actually. I got run into from behind at one point. Actually, it was kind of like the left quarter panel. So Everyone left with a little bit of scraped up car, I think. Is something here? I think Daniel's going hard into the wall. No, he was able to keep it off. We're coming near the end of the thing. This is lap 82. No turn up there up high. Ooh, having trouble getting it under control. Seen a lot of the same though. I think we're probably, uh, that's all we're gonna get in terms of anything not involving wall hits and then, oh yeah, of course, getting hit pretty bad there. You just like full throttled me. It's like, maybe I broke too hard? I don't know. You just, he looked like he didn't break at all. He went in so deep. So, I think he was probably going to pass me. We had a couple more laps. Maybe we could have held him off, but that um, definitely... Sorry if you heard that. Um, that definitely uh, lost us 
third, too, I think. So we had some damage. It didn't feel quite right after that. I mean, we got hit pretty hard on the side. You see how scratched up it is right there? But no big deal. Obviously, he didn't do it on purpose. I don't know if we've seen the 16 at all either. Just a little tiny wall hit. Coming to the end of this thing. A whole lot of nothing, looks like. Some final last minute passes maybe going on but that is the end of the race so that'll do it for gavin's 2000 subscribers special i think it was a fantastic race that was very fun loved learning the car and uh it was looking pretty good for us for a while but it was just because we were getting lucky on the cautions because clearly i didn't have the long run pace that i needed with tire saving so uh, maybe if I got another lucky caution near the end there we might have made it but uh, Jack definitely earned it there saved the tires a little bit better and uh, I'm glad Gavin cleared his black flag because I don't think he deserved it at all um, sounded like it was doing some weird stuff with uh, I think it was the three so I'm glad that uh, he didn't have his ro race ruined there. So that way he could go on and win the thing. So we still pull in for a top five. Just barely I uh, am able to uh, hold on in front of Gavin, who gets a top five in his own race. I'd love to see it. Nick, if he did, in fact, take a two-tire. Stop there. I think he did. Pulls it into 7th. I think they gave him a ton of spots, so I'm very interested in seeing if that's what he did and how it worked out for him. Because I don't, I don't think he was that high up. I could be wrong. But uh, that'll do it. Thanks for watching. That was a really fun one here at Texas. Legacy Texas. And uh, I certainly can't complain about that. Uh, my first ever time in this car. First race in this car. And um, would have been 0x if I didn't get hit from behind there near the end and pulled off a top five so uh, very happy with that led I probably led the most laps too I think I did so nice I'll take it uh, I'll see you next time hope you have a good one and uh, thanks for watching see ya